What's up, nation? Once again, this is your coach, Billy McMullen, former Philadelphia Eagle and University of Virginia All-American. And we're here to give you the best information on the web, YouTube, all around about how to play receiver properly. All right, I got my guy, Cole Blackman, from University of Virginia, one of my guys I train here locally at Richmond. And uh, this is a practice tape of him using some of the technique we teach. Uh, we're going to put some more videos about this technique. And it's a technique about dropping your hips, bursting, and then flipping your hips to get out your route. So let's jump right into it, okay? You can't see the DB in this picture right here because it's just the way the, the practice, uh, the way he sent me the film. But let's go through it anyway, all right? So I'm going to go in fast speed first and let you check it out. It's a stutter. He hit him with a stutter comeback, all right? And you'll see it just for wine here, stutter comeback, and get out his break. All right, so let's break it down. Let's, let's, let's go back to the uh, beginning here. Slow-mo, first and foremost, of course, we can't read the DB on this film. But if it's if it's one on one, more than likely you're gonna have off and inside man, off and inside man. Okay, uh, just know that when you have off and inside man, that the um, that the cornerback he's gonna be the first couple steps that you take, his first couple three uh, back pedals, his eyes are on the quarterback. Why is he doing that? For the three step short game, so he can jump the routes. If he can jump a slant, he can jump a a, a quick out. He can jump a hitch. Things of that nature. So he want to keep he want to keep his eye on that quarterback, okay? And so you should know that when you're running your quick game. But back to this route. This is a stutter comeback, okay? We're gonna we're gonna evaluate it. He did some good things. He did some things he can improve on, okay? First and foremost, good drive off the ball. Good drive off the ball. All right. When he hits his stutter, um, and you can do this, guys. There's two ways you can look at it. Um, you can hit him with a dead leg stutter, or you can hit him with a choppy stutter. Um, and you can give him a lazy shoulder or bad shoulders. See right here, high high shoulders, uh, indicate indication that I'm gonna stop. You know um, that sometimes can play on a, a defensive back that says, okay, he's looked at some of your tape. He knows when you give him high shoulders that that's an indicator that you're gonna stop right there. So you can use that in your stutter goals, your stutter posts, your stutter comebacks. Just make sure you got your timing with your quarterback. Make sure you guys are repping this. Okay, so you hit him with that. Bam. This is what I want to get to right here. All right, this is what I want to get to right here. So watch this. Bam. I, I've done this in my other videos. Look at the body language. All right, shoulders over toes. He's, he's, he's planted. He's firm. His knees are bent. So when you see or hear a coach say, hey, drop your weight, or you hear me say it on other videos, hey, you need to drop your weight right here. That's what we're talking about. Bend your knees. You got to bend your knees. This is pretty good. This is not bad. All right. So once he bends his knees, this is the technique I teach, all right? It's, not, it's, it's pretty good. I want you guys to see this. It's called flipping the hips. He's flipping his hips or pivoting on his foot to get out of his break. You see that pivot right there? Let's see it again. Flipping the hips, pivot. See that pivot right there? Pivot. It's a pivot. Pivot right there. Pivot. That's, that's pretty good, man. That is pretty good. The only thing I would fix right here, uh, one of the things I would fix right here is that off hand. It's off hand right here. He got to he he has to whip it around to get the rest of his body around to be a little bit more explosive in that route coming out of the break. So you go back to here. You go back. Let's put it, push it back here. So he he stutters and then he bursts, drops. See the burst right there? Nice little burst right there. Bam! He drops his weight and then he flips his hips. All right, he flips his hips. Another thing, guys, so this, this right here you can use with your curls, your comebacks, even your in cuts, your out cuts. You don't flip all the way back. You don't do a 180. It's like a half of that. You're getting out to the sideline, okay? But for the most part, this is a pretty good. Flip the hips or pivot or pivot. Look, what the foot, look at the foot he pivots on right there. This is the foot. And I have this drill. I have a way you can work this drill in my, in my Beatman Press program, which right now I'm giving out free. Um, based on uh, you guys joining uh, my private wide receiver group. Uh, we meet every Sunday, man. We got a bunch of things we talk about. You get a free a chance to ask Q&A questions live. We bring in guests. We bring in a bunch of guys. We're going over tape coverage. Uh, we're bringing in some coaches I've coached with, uh, some parents that have helped their kids get into school. A bunch of information you guys will help to help you get faster, stronger in the weight room. We go over everything. You have You have a chance to ask questions live okay so make sure you email me at wideoutpro at gmail.com and ask to join my private group okay and you'll get the beat man press program for free and we have some drills in there you can start working this pivot move right here so once he gets out of there here's another thing check this out 
once he gets out, look at his head. And college ball, this is at University of Virginia, at college ball, you don't have time to waste with your head to get out your route. Once he turns around, look at his head. He's looking for the ball, man. He's looking for the ball. He's looking for the ball right now. Bam, where's the ball? Where's the ball? Because that ball is already out of his hand. If, you, if you're in high school or, or playing a ball at semi-pro or wherever college, if that ball is not out right now, hey, look, you got to fight for that because this guy right here, he's going to be driving. He gives him a chance to make a play on that ball, right? But the quarterback does a, does a pretty good job of throwing him open. You see that angle? So we can, we can talk on this tape for a long time about comebacks. And when you run your comeback with that pivot right there, it helps you to get out that angle here towards the sideline. Let me do that again. The angle is here towards the sideline, all right? It's a sharp 45-degree angle, all right? If you're taking too many steps on your comeback and you're looping around, it gives this DB a chance to drive and make an interception, all right? He gets out of that break, and then he drives back towards the ball, drives back towards the ball and meets the ball at the highest point. This is, this is pretty good, man. The only thing I would fix once again is probably his arms to help his arms, a little bit more action with his arms, keeping him up high, helping him to work out, that, out of his break a little bit better. But this is the drill, man. Look, get the Beatman Press program where you join up with our, um, with our private group, and you can work this drill right now. And we do more breakdowns where you can ask live questions. But look at this, man. This is pretty. Make that play. Make that play. So check it out, guys. This is... Billy McMullen at Wide Receiver Nation, man. Make sure you email me right now at Wide Out Pro and ask for my uh, Beatman Press program. Once again, you get that for free. Uh, basically, when you ask to join my Wide Receiver uh, private group, it's a mastery group. We go over everything from slants, comebacks, posts, um, how to make a play at the highest point how to make sure you're working with your coach to get on the field, how to get the ball in your hands more with your quarterbacks. We go over everything, any topic that has to do with a wide receiver, we're going over that thing so you guys can be the best. All right, wideoutpro at gmail.com. Ask to join my group. Peace, guys.